Welcome to another flight review. Why should I say Salam Alaikum? Because today I'll be traveling to Saudi Arabia on Saudi Airlines, which is the flag carrier of Saudi Arabia and also part of the Sky Team. So I'm booked on that Airbus 320 in business class and I want to introduce their premium, premium product to you. And we can actually make a nice comparison to Qatar Airways, which I just flown a month ago, also on their narrow body a 320 so i've never flown with them before and in Jeddah, i will connect uh to jakarta on their triple seven which will be a separate video um so i'm very excited let's see what to expect um it's also a dry airline there won't be any alcohol served uh, during the entire flight um so yeah i think it will be a little bit of a different experience but i'm actually very excited to introduce it to you so let's go So believe it or not, but the entire flight from Milan to Jakarta with a stopover in Jeddah only cost me 400 euros plus I gained 11,000 frequent flyer miles to my Sky Team account. Um, yeah, I found a deal on Secret Flying, um, which you should follow on Facebook as well because they always publish deals like this. So welcome to Saudia's A320 business class cabin. It comes with 20 business class seats in a 2-2 configuration. I agree they don't look too fancy and they might be a bit outdated. However, for five hours flight, they were pretty comfortable and not too bad. So the first thing I received was a hot towel um, followed by Arabic coffee and dates, which is a proper like or true Middle Eastern tradition. Um, then the menus were handed out and uh, welcome drinks, which were non-alcoholic since Saudi is a dry airline, which means they don't serve any alcohol. As soon as we reached our cruising altitude, the meal service would kick off. Um, as a starter, I was given two options. Either I have the Arabic one or the smoked uh, salmon with steamed prawns, which I decided to take. And it was delicious, it tasted really nice. The salmon was very fresh, as well as the prawns. Um, for the main, I could either go with the chicken or with the mixed seafood, which consisted of sea bass and um, salmon once again, with a dish of saffron rice, which was fresh, it was not too dry, um, as well as the, the fish. The sauce was delicious and I was pretty, pretty satisfied with the meal service. So as a dessert, I would get some ice cream um, as well as a coffee. And overall, I think the meal service was very efficient, very fast. There were not no long waiting times between meals, just the way I like it.
So let me introduce the seat functions to you and on your left in the armrest this is where the screen is hiding. It's very bulky, it's hard to get out of there and I usually prefer the screen to be in the back of the seat in front of you. So as we continue the tour, you can find the remote control, of course, to operate the entertainment system. And you also have the plug for your noise cancelling headphones and a USB slot, which was actually working. So the seat also features two power sockets right in between. And in the seat pocket in front of you, you will find the noise cancelling headphones as well as the onboard magazine where you can purchase things if you like to. So these are the controls for your seat to recline back and forward a little bit, but it's nothing too special. It's more like an armchair back home, just the one you know from your grandfather. Um, you would also receive a blanket and a pillow, both pretty comfortable, and the noise cancelling headphones. I'd love to tell you more about them and how the quality was, but unfortunately, my entertainment system wasn't working. I told the person to fix it and he said he was going to do it, but he never did. As you can see, my entertainment wasn't working. I tried to fix it myself, but nothing would happen. Um, in the seat pocket in front of you, you have the onboard magazine where you can purchase duty-free items if you wish to do so. In here, you can see the bathroom in the front part of the airplane, which featured a few creams, soap and moisturizers. So I also went to the economy class and there is no personal entertainment. You only have the overhead screens and I went to the bathroom and it was a complete mess as you can see. So let me summarize my experience with Saudi Arabian Airlines. It is not too bad, but I don't want to say it wasn't anything outstanding either. The seat was pretty standard and my entertainment system wasn't working. Um, the meal service was great. The food was good. It was a quick service. I loved the portions. It was very fresh. Um, the airport in Jeddah was a complete mess though and, and until the new airport is opening um, next year or by the end of the year I wouldn't recommend going for a transit in Jeddah. Um, they have free Wi-Fi at the lounge but this is probably the only positive thing I can say about the airport. Would I go out of my way to book Saudi Arabian Airlines? Probably I would if they have a deal like this again. Um, if they wouldn't I would probably prefer a different Middle Eastern airline. So this was it. This was my review of Saudi Arabian Airlines. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you want, share it with your friends. All your support is highly appreciated. Thank you so much and see you next week for my new flight review.